what's going on today guys so in this video we're going to speak about the benefits of lithium orate um, in supplement form um, there seems to be a stigma when people hear the word lithium because of the conventional model of using lithium um, in its carbonated version uh, lithium carbonate um, they used it I think it was around the 1960s to the 1950s was somewhere around then that lithium was developed and it treated uh, manic depressive patients with bipolar very well. It did not come without a cost though, because um, with lithium carbonate, it's so poorly absorbed that they have to oversaturate the body with it and it causes a lot of side effects, such as this is why they have to do blood tests when you're on lithium carbonate, um, such as renal impairment. So kidney problems, um, also thyroid problems. So if you take too much lithium, it can interfere with uh, your thyroid and make people hypothyroid with the prescription version of lithium. Now, let's speak about why this happens. So they, if you look at the two, so we have supplemental lithi uh, lithium, which is lithium or it's a, it's wrapped in erratic acid which happens to be in breast milk. So this is why it's much more absorbable at lesser doses. And let's compare doses real quick. Lithium orotate has been shown to be just as effective, if not more effective, than lithium carbonate without all of those side effects, and you don't even need to get blood tested while you're on it. And the reason is simple. Lithium orotate, you're taking 5 to 10, I mean, for, to, for like severe conditions, up to 20 milligrams a day. And I've seen people even go higher than that with lithium orotate, and they never had to take a blood test, even though, you know, if, if you want to take a blood test, it doesn't hurt. Now, lithium carbonate, they have to oversaturate the body because it's so poorly absorbed in the intestine that they have to use huge doses. And I'm talking about huge ones like 1,500 milligrams, 2,000 milligrams of lithium uh, carbonate. And it causes these side effects and it dulls the person's personality and it makes them uh, have thyroid issues and stuff like that. It makes them gain weight. Um, and these are the key differences here between the two. Now, what's interesting, just a brief background on lithium, though. Lithium is a, a mineral that your body needs. Let me say that again. Your body needs lithium just as much as it needs potassium or magnesium or selenium or chromium. It needs it just as much as those. It actually used to be an ingredient in 7-Up Soda before. Um, and people actually, when they drink the seven up soda, they'd feel really chilled out because I think it had like one milligram of lithium in a bottle of seven up and they'd feel all calm and mellow. Studies are showing that where there is lithium in the water supply, that there's 50% less suicide rates and violence. Um, studies also show that it reduces psychosis as a standalone treatment, as a standalone treatment. Lithium treats psychosis by itself. Now, this is pretty rare considering the fact that when you go to conventional medicine, a lot of the time you'll see somebody on Abilify and Zyprexa and another med. And just to get that under control, lithium, there is studies I'm going to link in the description that show it stands alone in treating psychosis. Okay, And the ways that it does this is simple. Well, not very simple, actually, because lithium works on the whole brain. So lithium increases serotonin. It increases um, and, or it balances out dopamine levels right in the brain. It also blocks glutamate, which is a very stimulatory uh, chemical in the brain that causes some of the symptoms of anxiety, if there's too much of it, of overactivity of the stress response of even at high levels, hallucinations, delusions, things like this, glutamate can help exacerbate these, system, the, these symptoms. So lithium can be helpful with this. Um, some other things that lithium orotate is, has benefits for is boosting BDNF production, which is in the brain. 
uh, which is basically a chemical that increases neuroplasticity in the brain, literally grows new cells back. In fact, they did a study where they took one mouse and another mouse, and they induced a stroke on both mouses, except one mouse had lithium in him, and the other mouse didn't. The, the mouse that they gave a stroke to with the lithium had 50% less brain damage than the other mouse that didn't have lithium. The other mouse died. The other mouse was still alive with 50% less brain damage. Done. So the, there also is other uh, benefits of it calming mood swings, of it detoxing heavy metals, protecting the brain from heavy metals, increasing immunity. Um all of these things I will link in the description of the benefits of lithium or tape. Remember, supplemental lithium is not the same as what Big Pharma took and made it into huge, gigantic doses to oversaturate people's bodies. And then they got to be given a blood test to even be on a medication, which is inconvenient in itself. Now, it's interesting to for me to repeat it again. Lithium is a mineral that your body needs. Your body needs lithium. In the same way that they test for magnesium, that they test for potassium, that they test for sodium, they don't test for lithium when it comes to mental illness. And I find it odd because there is studies that show that a lot of mental illness is exacerbated or caused by lithium deficiency. In fact, some of these studies are claiming that bipolar disorder is simply a lithium deficiency. So it is important to remember that when you think about lithium, think about it in different terms. Okay, Big Pharma just took it and they made it into a souped up dose huge dose that your body does not need that much lithium. It only needs a little bit of lithium, but it is a powerful mineral for just as a little of a dose, about five milligrams to 10 milligrams, three times a day. If you've got, you know, some severe mental illness going on, sometimes you can use up to 20 milligrams, three times a day, you know, and if you want, you can even go to your doctor. If you want a blood test pulled and stuff, it probably ain't going to show too much rise in lithium levels because they're so used to using such a high dose of 1,500 milligrams, they probably barely detect it. You know, I think I did see somebody do a blood test before, and they barely detected uh, these trace amounts of lithium that they were taking. But the person said, I feel way better when they took the lithium. So I'll link it in the descriptions below, all the studies and everything else that lithium orotate can do. And as always, stay healthy, my friends. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. You guys stay blessed. Bye.